five o'clock in the morning, end of my 10 hour shift, started at six last night, and it's time to hit the road. Work is done and dusted for the week, and for the first time in nearly six months, we're gonna be out in the open. Um, and we'll take you along on a weekend away in the wide open spaces. The sun was just hitting Table Mountain as we left Cape Town, heading north to the wide open spaces of the Pampua Peru. It was a brilliant drive out through the Boerland, Wellington, Cirrus, and then heading out into the open on the R55 towards Calfinia. Let's take a moment to say thank you for our Patreons. They are the people that make these videos possible. Please join us and go to www.patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels to support us on our travels. It was very windy when we arrived, but it was great setting up camp in Ufudu again. We really missed sleeping in our car. It was great slowing down again and getting back into the camping lifestyle. Corinne and the gang went for slow walks, discovering the magic of the desert landscape. Once you take your time to explore and to look up close, it's amazing the amount of life that you will discover. Bird life, animals and insects. You must just take the time to look and you'll be amazed what you will find. The children were in their element, building dams and making rivers from the water that was pumped up from deep underground. For me the best thing was the wide open spaces, just getting out of the concrete jungle and having a horizon stretching with nothing in front of you. It's something that just feeds my soul. Our evenings were spent around the campfire, reconnecting with old friends and making new friends. And we had a fiercely contested talent show. One morning we took a drive out to Dimont, a campsite about three kilometers away. I was too brave and decided to take a quick dip in the freezing water. Okay, for it, for it, bump it up. Yeah, go! Woo! Woo! Suck it! So that was not cold. cold. <laughs> <laughs> One of the girls was brave enough to take on the swing and take the plunge into the freezing river water. The rest of the weekend we spent socializing, drying, cooking up a storm and really relaxing as only camp life can make you relax. And much too soon, we had to hit the road back to Cape Town. Back to go and save some more money for our next adventure. We took our time on the drive back, spending time again looking at the small flowers and the plant life in the Karua. Sometimes where it looks like there grows nothing except rock, you will find the most amazing flowers. stopped at the iconic Tangwa farm store with the very eccentric decor and Karin could get her shopping fix in again. 
we also saw the Puppet Crusher, one of the most eccentric vehicles that you would find on the road. And then we headed off into the sunset, as our weekend away ended much too soon. Thank you for watching our videos. Please remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to get notified of all new videos. And please remember to support us on Patreon. Go to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels.